Hey guys, Jaren here, and right now I want to help you with the concept of the drone. Okay, a drone is like an invisible robot helper that can be ordered to move around, place bl blocks, and spawn mobs. And that's why we have a block for each of those operations here. And uh, playing with drones and using them to build things is a really good exercise for uh, making pro processes or algorithms, which is really fundamental in any kind of coding you're doing. All right, now, something important to understand is that in order to use a drone, we need to store it in a variable. And this allows us to refer back to a given drone multiple times using these operations and uh, have our program remember where the given drone's location is. Okay, so Notice that's why you see these drone operation blocks refer to a particular drone. Um, and the default is D. A really common error is to forget to change the default D to the drone that you're actually trying to use. So make sure that you check that. All right, so with this example, I'm going to run it and um, try and guess what's going to uh, happen before I run it. All right, looks good. It's a skeleton blockade. So let me switch back to the code and explain everything just to summarize. So notice I'm using two separate drones to make my life a little easier, and I would encourage the same in other situations. You've got one for placing blocks and the other one uh, just for spawning mobs. And these lines are what create the drones and store them in these two variables uh, so we can refer to them separately. Okay, and then this line is to command the drone for skeleton spawning to move behind the wood blockade that's going to be made. And then um, here we have the loop to repeat a pattern wherein this line spawns a skeleton with the skeleton drone and then this line places a block with the other drone. And then the last part of this pattern uh, moves both of the drones to the right a distance of one. All right, so there you have all the simple operations you can do with drones, and one tip, which is to remember to change this um, this drop down to the variable that contains the drone that you're actually trying to use. Thanks for watching, guys.